Jobs not cuts. Jobs not cuts. Jobs not cuts. Jobs not cuts. And if they don't do what we want, come the next election, they won't, they won't have a job. Because the people are America's backbone. And that's the truth, even if it's in a rap song. It's not long to the times at hand. And it's a long way to go to the promised land. So it's time to march, time to march, time to march, and take back America's dream. Yeah. This is going to be an unusual rally in that we're going to hear from some of our leaders we're also here from the people. I'm here to support jobs, to tell you know Congress that it's time for you to start working for us and not the 1%. You know, we need jobs now. I can take a job fixing that bridge right now. If they called me right now on my phone, I would leave this stage and go fix that bridge. And I am tired of being sick and tired of being unemployed. For three years, I've been looking for a job. And all I get is, we'll call you. I've heard that so much that I'm beginning to believe that's my middle name. So I'm asking members of Congress, give us a chance. Fight for us. We're the ones that put you in office. Fight for us. How can you sleep at night knowing that youth are selling drugs just to make money? Um, a rally like this is important to show uh, the people in office, elected officials, that we're, hold, we're here to hold them accountable and also show other people around the uh, nation that weren't able to come out here that people are showing love and showing support and demanding jobs. We're here to let everyone know that Ohio wants to take back the American dream. There's a lot of people that have it a lot worse than what I got because I still have a home. There's a stretch in New Hampshire of all tent cities where people are forced to live outside with their whole you know, their families, they've lost their house, their jobs, their cars, and they're going hungry. And I gotta ask Congress, can, can you please pass the, the job bill? Um, I'm here because it's time for us to come to uh, Capitol Hill and show our elected officials that we actually know the solutions, we have the bills, and it's time for them to pass it. I'm here today because I wanted to add my voice to the people who came out today to say to Congress, we want you to pass President Obama's jobs bill now. I'm a product of it. As a little girl, my father received Social Security, $55 a month to take care of a family of nine living in four rooms, and that included the bathroom and the kitchen. But guess what? I had a dream. That's why we need this take back the American dream. People need to dream. They need to believe. They need to believe that they can get a job. People want to work. Put people to work, Congress. You can tell I'm mad. I'm mad. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, I've been working for 42 years. I can retire today. But guess what? I am not going to do it because there's too much work to be done. And we're finally saying enough is enough. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Instead of balancing the budgets on our backs, we're demanding our politicians come up with economic solutions that actually work for the middle class. I'm here because I feel as though, as a Democrat, a person of color, my vote is often taken for granted. This is our country. This is your country. Take advantage of it. Be out here and make a lot of noise because they have to respond to us. We're in charge. It's our agenda. As of today, as of right now, the American Dream Movement is here to say no more. The real people are here. The real patriots have reported for duty. And we are going to take back the American Dream from the people who want to kill it. That's who we are. We are the patriots. 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 We are the patriots.